thread I'm going to be using is just the Uni AO in black. I simply start at the eye of the hook, touch and turns, take a thread right down the shank until we're in a line with the barb of the hook. Trim away the waist. Now we're going to use this is golden pheasant tippet it's from the collar. Just need a few fibres, and what I do here, you can see the areas where I've been cutting. Bring the scissors in, hold the tips. You're looking maybe ten or so fibres for a fly this size anyway. Length of the tail, say the shank length. Just loop over the top, and tighten up. Two or three turns just to make sure it's not going to move. And there, that's your tail. This weird body's going to finish just in this area here. For the rib, I'm using an actual tinsel, and this is gold. I use gold and silver, any of the two work extremely well. Again, I tie it full length of the body just to balance everything up, and as well, it ties in much better. But at this point, I would run the thread down. Reasonably close turns all the way down to this point here. Take a thread back down and get some either SLF in red or synthetic living fibre or red seals for any of the two. Whatever you prefer to use. The SLF is a synthetic seal, so it's very good. Dub it onto your thread. What I like to do is take it up to where the body's going to start, twist it, do a single turn, and then tighten up. I want it nice and neat at the back. Just take your time, and as you wind, your seals fur up, keep tightening up as you go. Makes for a better body if you do that. Just slightly short, get some more seals fur. Just need a small pinch to tidy up. In there. You're looking for an area here, probably like at least two millimetres, even three. Then bring the gold rib up through. Even like all the way up to this point here. Cross your thread and then tie it down. Trim away your waist. Now, the type of hackles I like, and this is a, a hen neck saddle dyed black. Excellent for it. Or you can just use a normal. Cape, then a dyed black hen cape. Now, fibre length, you can have it so the fibre length goes to the point or just towards between the point and the barb. The best way to measure that is to get the stem, stem of your hackle, line up with the, the shank. In this case, because the hackle's lying towards the back, there, if you go like that, that'll give you an idea of the length of the fibre length you're going to get from this hackle. Now, I'm going to tie this in by the tip. Just pull back the tip, come in with two or three turns and fold back the tip. Keep the thread tight, pull out and trim away the point of the hackle itself. This is a matter of then folding back the fibres and doing one turn in front of the other, working your way down to this point here. Now about probably two to three tons is enough, especially with a hackle like this. I mean, so the fibres are very thick, so you don't need as many tons. Now I'm winding the thread down. I'm going to fold back everything that's going forward, including the hackle. Bring the thread up from the front. 
make, making sure it's tucked back, keeping the thread tight, you can break this off. And that's you ready for your wing. Make sure everything's sitting okay, in the way you like. It's very important that you have a nice base of thread. You don't have lumpy bump or spaces or steps in the thread. Uh, towards the head anyway, especially when you're going to put a, uh, a wing or something on. Now the wing of the Heckham Peckham is up from the secondary feathers from a mallard duck. It's the one that's the blue, the one that's used for the butcher. Either right and the left, one from each side. And you see prepared, just pulling out this area. I want the white tip to be. Now you can, what I like to do is cut these away from the quill. One from each side. Now, to line up the points, what I do is bring them in, get the tips lined up, just have to make sure they're the right length, just take your time at this point, once you've lined them up, get the length you would like, you know, it depends on what you like yourself personally, I like a reasonable wing on the fly, the best measure is your eye. I mean, there is a standard which probably be about there in length. Just by the bend, halfway into the tail anyway, which should be okay. Now you see, I've got it sitting like this. With the, this is the inside of the feather. So when I fold these round, one in each side, it should be covering both sides of the hook, or the top and the bottom, and it sits much better. So what I do is I come in, get the length of a like. Finger and thumb, bring them in, and as close to the, the shank as possible. You don't want a space between the wing fibre and the hook. You want it practically touching the top. Then what you do is you bring the thread up into your fingers and pinch. Bring the thread right down and round and onto the side, the side where the head is or the hook. And then basically bring the thread up, bringing the fibre or the thread through your fingers nice and smooth, and then a couple of turns to lock. Don't worry about maybe catching a hackle point, more interested in, in the actual wing itself. A couple of turns to make sure it's not going to move. Just have a wee quick look to see how it's turned out. That looks okay to me. Another couple of turns. And trim away the waist. Come in with your scissors. Nice sharp pair of scissors. Now you've got a step at the eye and the head itself. Now what I like to do is bring the thread to the front and bring the thread turns from the eye itself up the head, building up your thread in a step so that you can bring this onto the cut end. Anything you may have caught, like I did here, was this small piece of hackle. Just trim it away, take it out of the way. and go straight in and whip finish. Now while you're whip finishing you can actually tidy up as well. There's a bit of, a bit of fibre there I can catch with the thread as I go down. Tighten up. Trim away your thread. Just uh, have a look see how things are sitting. Looks okay for me. Then all you have to do Let's get some varnish. Just touch it all the way around. Now I'm using a brush to do this, so you can use a needle, it's up to yourself. So watch you don't fill the eye or get any of the varnish onto the wing. Just want it on the head area. See how that's sitting. Make sure the eye's nice and clean. Any fibres that's maybe too long, like this one here, I'm going to Take it away. And there is your Heckham Peckham.